Hello and welcome to a bonus episode of Music Unpacked. I've got an unusual metronome here where you can see inside. Let's see how it works. You take off this cover and release this pendulum which swings back and forth so you can practice keeping in time. Because of the physics, the further the weight is at the top, the slower it goes and the further down you move it, the faster it goes because the weight doesn't have to go as far. At the moment it's silent and we'll run out of energy pretty quickly as you can see because the clockwork hasn't been wound up yet. We'll come back to that because it's the best bit. All you need to know practically though is that you move the weight to set the speed that you want. Or in music we call the speed the tempo. Tempo means speed but can also mean kind of the mood as well. So up here we have other common Italian music terms. For example, lento. Lento means slow in Italian. If you want to be more exact, you can use the numbers along the side. That's how many beats per minute it's going to click at, just like how you measure heartbeats. If we moved it to 60, then it would click at 60 beats per minute. That's the same speed as seconds, because there's 60 seconds in a minute. If your heartbeat is that speed, it probably means you're very bored of this video. If we move it to 120 beats per minute, that's twice as fast, and it says animato, which in Italian means animated. If your heartbeat's going that fast, it probably means you're absolutely loving this video. In which case, please remember to comment, subscribe, share, and hit the like button. Or maybe your heartbeat's really fast because you absolutely hate this video, in which case, double click the dislike button. Anyway, here's a fun fact. The numbers start by going up by twos, for example, 40 and then 42. Then they go up by threes and then fours and then sixes. And lastly, by eight, for example, 200 and then 208. That's because you don't really notice the small differences once you get pretty fast. Now the best bit, as promised, let's look inside. I'll put an arrow and hopefully you can see the slightly bigger cogs on the side. Actually, there's two there linked together and the clockwork attached to this big wheel further back tries to push them forward, push them around. The cogs only rotate though when this little gap lines up with one of the teeth of the cogs. Then the cog tooth passes through and the metal thing with the gap gets hit by the next cog tooth. That's what makes the clicking noise of the metronome. When the pendulum swings the other way, it lets the cog on the other side forward. Then it keeps alternating, going through left, right, left, right, etc. You might be thinking, what are these four smaller cogs doing? Well, nothing yet. But see this little silver thing here on top? That's attached to a flicky thing and the bell. At the moment, the cogs don't touch it, so it doesn't ding the bell. However, you can move it across. Can you see that? And there's four options. Well, actually five, because uh, first of all, it can be set to zero like it was before, and it does nothing. Then you can move it to the number two here, and that lines up the flicky thing with the cog on the far side. Because of how far apart the cog teeth are, it dings the bell every two clicks. So it goes click, ding, click, ding. Then you can move it across and it dings every three clicks or every four clicks or every six clicks. Isn't that so simple and cool? So if you're say practicing a waltz, which will always have three beats, you set the metronome to three and it goes ding every three beats like this. One, two, three, one, two, three. So here we are, what a wonderfully simple device. No electricity, so if there's a worldwide power cut and some massive disaster, you can keep practicing and making sure you're in time. Whether you find metronomes useful, annoying, or they help you sleep at night. I hope you like this video. Please follow this channel for more if so. Thank you to my amazing piano students, Andy and Anson, and their mum who lent me this very interesting metronome. I could make another video about all the Italian tempo markings, so if you'd like me to do that, leave a comment below. Thanks for watching.